Hello everyone, this is Kaushik. This is my next video in entrepreneurship series. Today we are going to dis discuss about business canvas model. The team which has got some innovative idea to address the problems in the society or the community where they live in, they have to come out with this business canvas model. Why? Because they have found the problem and they, are, they, they have a solution to solve that problem. But if you don't have a proper business canvas model, then you go nowhere. Okay, so that is why this business canvas model is very very important. You should have this business canvas model in your office on your whiteboard, whiteboard in a skeletal structure. Why? Because you have to always change this business canvas, uh, business canvas whenever you are evolving as a company. So today I am going to explain about the important uh, parameters in the business canvas model. This business canvas model has nine important parameters. Let me explain one by one. Okay, so I have uh, taken one random uh, numbering, so you can you can explain it in any way. Okay, so the first uh, parameter in the business canvas model is customer segments. Okay, so uh, customer segments. The name itself is telling you, ha you have a product or a service. Who are the customers who are using your product or service? So now uh, let me take an example of Uber or Shela. Uh, sorry, Uber or Ola. Right? So these are the two uh, online platforms uh, for car booking. Let me take, I have taken an example of Uber throughout uh, this business canvas model example. So let's uh, take Uber. Okay, Who are their customers? Their customers are drivers as well as passengers. So if you look at drivers, how do they use this Uber platform? If someone is there who is working as cleaner for any lorry or who is working uh, as uh, some uh, employee for a uh, taxi service, if he wants to become a full-time driver, then he can come on this Uber platform and he can become a full-time driver. So that is, that is what the customer of Uber. Then if you want to earn extra money okay uh, let's uh, let's suppose he is doing one job in the morning if uh, if he has free time in the evening or in the night he can always work by coming on this platform and earn extra money so these are the customers of uber coming to uh, passengers okay uh, so passengers who don't have cars they can always have cars on this kind of platform otherwise uh, if if any foreign uh, travelers are there let's suppose they come for business purpose or for tourist purpose they always uh, come to other country where they don't have vehicles okay if they have this kind of platform they can use this platform i hope you understood that customer segments is who all are using your product or service i have taken an example of uber where there are customers of passengers as well as drivers are there now let's discuss, uh, discuss about value proposition. What is this value proposition? What kind of value are you are adding with the uh, advent of your startup? Your startup, like what is the problem it is solving? Now uh, and what kind of value it is adding? So there are some existing systems, but your startup has come. What kind of value you are adding with the help of your startup? Coming to value proposition, Take the same example of Uber, which is online car uh, uh, booking platform. So, in terms of drivers, they have flexible working hours. As I said, they have uh, they can work in the morning, in the evening, or in the night. If they have some work uh, in the morning, they can always uh, log in, in the evening session and they can work. So, flexible timing, uh, flexible working hours for the drivers. Then, source of extra income. I already mentioned if they want to earn uh, extra money, it's not like 9 to 5 job. They can always do it from 9 to 10 or whole day also they can work. So uh, they, uh, this is uh, the source of extra income for the drivers. When you see in the passenger's perspective, uh, so they can pay with so many options. They can pay it with debit card, they can pay with the online platforms and nowadays uh, you can uh, like, I can take credit also. You can travel uh, in the car for 10 days, after 10 days you can pay back. So that kind, that kind of value proposition you are giving with this platform and low pricing. If you compare with uh, conventional taxi services or autos, compared to them, uh, Uber is providing with lower prices. So that is what the value you are adding in terms of uh, your customers. Then coming to channels, like you have developed a product and I mean, with the help of what channels you are reaching out to your customers. So. Uh, if you take the example of Uber, they have mobile and uh, web app uh, where uh, they can uh, show their product with the help of web and mobile app. 
they can uh, promote about their company uh, with the help of social media they can go on facebook twitter or any instagram so these are the social media platforms where you can tell about your product to your customers then you have google adwords okay with the help of google adwords like you are looking into a website then uh, some advertisements will pop up okay in that advertisement you can advertise about your company otherwise you are you are looking at uh, any video in the youtube uh, in between uh, the advertisements will come so what all channels you are taking to reach out to the customers so that explains about the channel then coming to uh, customer relationships okay so you have done your product your uh, your product is ready and it is in the market and people are using it uh, and you have to get the feedback from them why well, because customer relationship is very very important if customer is not satisfied if he is not giving feedback you are going nowhere as a startup so in order to maintain customer relationship uh, if you take facebook example only they have feedback rating system you always i mean you might have observed after your uh, ride uh, you get a feedback sheet where you tick Uh, how the car is how the driver is so that kind of feedback uh, review systems they have to have a relationship with the customer so that they can always improve on their uh, product and then social media they uh, they have pages on facebook twitter and instagram so any customer can log in uh, to facebook twitter or instagram and they can always uh, give their uh, feedback or if they have any complaints they can always post on that so customer relationships plays an important role then revenue streams you have developed a product how are you going to earn money from your product okay so how do you earn money so if you see uh, uber as an example a ride commission let's suppose you have traveled from a source to destination and it has costed you 100 rupees okay out of 100 rupees 14 to 20 rupees will come uh, will get to uber so that is what a ride commission okay so and that is how they are going to make money and they have other platforms like uber x uber foods okay so with the, uh, with the help of these kind of platforms also they will earn money so it is not only building the product after you build the product how are you going to get the money that is what this revenue streams will tell you what all sources you have to earn money out of your product that should come in revenue streams okay next key activities coming to key activities what are the activities your startup is doing all the time okay so uh, if you take again the example of uber they have to develop web and mobile platform why because every booking will be done on the mobile platform or web platform okay so they have to always develop this and then drivers recruitment if you don't have drivers on your board then you are lost why because you are online uh, car booking system so you need to always recruit good drivers okay and then marketing this online uh, car booking platforms is a cutthroat competition you have ola you have uber you have so many things on this if you have this cutthroat competition then you should have good marketing uh, team to uh, to uh, to i mean to stand out uh, out of the competition okay so these are the key activities which you, uh, which this uh, your startup has to do or has to do always then coming to key resources okay what are your resources what are your key resources uh, to uh, run your startup so you should have software engineering team why because if you need to develop web platform or any mobile app platform you need to always have your software developing team and then uh, uh, as we are discussing about uh, this uber so they have to have uh, the resources the key resources are drivers without drivers they can't run their company so in the key resources software engineering team which includes artificial intelligence uh, team also why because uh, you need to change the rates as per the timings and as per the traffic and you need to show where the car is so for all these things you require artificial intelligence team also so for uh, uber the key resources are software engineering team which includes artificial intelligence engineers also and drivers also play an important role and you need to always have web or mobile app development team as your key resources then coming to key partners who are the partners for your startup see it's not uh, you alone uh, running the show why because you need to take help from extra uh, external stakeholders also uh, so uh, the investors who are investing in your company will become your key partners and then car owners as we are discussing about uber so car owners see i have a car why it should be there uh, in my uh, parking lot i can rent out 
to the people uh, who wants it. So uh, they become your partners so that you can run your show. So key partners are investors and car owners in uh, Uber example. Then the last one is car structure. What is your major cash burn? Okay, so where you are spending whole amount. So what is a cost structure? Okay, you need to pay your uh, employees. First thing is you need to pay your employees. Marketing team, sales team, mobile uh, web app team, uh, artificial intelligence team, uh, like office staff, uh, technical, non-technical. You have to pay everyone. So payrolls. You are going to uh, burn your cash in giving out the salaries. Then marketing. So without marketing, you are not uh, doing anything. Why? Because you have a great product. Without marketing or sales team, uh, you can't uh, reach out to customers. So you need to have good marketing strategies and you need to have a marketing team. And you need to spend a lot of, you, you have seen a lot of products, they spend a lot of amount on marketing in terms of advertisements, in terms of recruiting people. So you need to uh, burn your cash, uh, cash on marketing. And then always web and mobile app development. Okay, why? Because everything happens on mobile. The web or mobile app platform should be ready. Okay, so these are the nine parameters which you need to consider when you are you are going up with a startup. If you are, if these nine things should be there on your whiteboard, and every time you need to change this as you evolve. Thank you.